In the darkest corners of the wild, brave men tremble before the ferocious creatures of the jungle. But not us. <laughs> Today on the Magic Mark Show, we're traveling into the forest and chatting up the creatures. Hop in the Jeep and hold on to your hat. It's the Magic Mark Show. Boys and girls, thank you for tuning into the Magic Mark Show. I'm hanging out at the Animal Safari and I'm trying to find Too Tall the Giraffe. Wait a minute. I understand he's hanging out in his neck of the woods. <laughs> Get it? Neck of the woods? <laughs> Long neck. <laughs> Wait a minute. Shh. I think I see him. Oh no, he's a little too short <laughs> for a giraffe. We'll find him. We'll find him. Oh! Oh no. Got to get around this hump in the road here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I think we have it. It has patterns. Yeah. But wait a minute. Stripes? Giraffes don't have stripes. That's a zebra. <sighs> we'll find them sooner or later. <gasps> we have it. Shh. It's soft and cuddly. Wait a minute. It's lying on the ground. Lying on the ground. Shh, let's get a little closer. Oh. Whoa, whoa! Oh no! Oh no! No no! Boys and girls, that's not it. I think that's the lion. Let's get out of here. Oh gosh! Hey, boys and girls, that wasn't a 16-foot-tall giraffe. That was a lion. <laughs> you have to be very careful out here in the safari. And you know what? Oh, that's it. I see it. I see a sign. Animal safari. Maybe we can find somebody there to help us to find Too Tall the giraffe. Whew. I'm so glad I see this. Wait a minute. You know I love my animals. Look at this. A raccoon? Whoa, only on the Magic Mark show, look at this. Hey, Wonder Girls, stay with us on the Magic Mark show. We're at uh, Pine Mountain, Georgia, Wild Animal Safari, and just a great treat for kids to see some of the beautiful animals in their natural habitat. This is where you would see, if you could you know, go to Africa, you would see something just like this. The, uh, the land's looking like this and the animal's getting a chance to roam and, and just run around freely and, and play and fight and protect you know, their own little areas. And, and this is really cool. What a special treat. We'll see giraffes, zebras, llamas, camels, buffalo, elk, uh, wow. a lot of deer. Oh, cool. Uh, most of them will come right up, stick their head in, you can feed them, pet them, they slobber on you and everything. You mean so we're going to have the opportunity of feeding the animals? Oh, yeah. They're and I understand right you have the big cats as well. I'm sitting, I'm looking at some pictures. Yes. What is a liger? A liger is a cross between a lion and a tiger. Uh, the lion is the daddy. A lion and a tiger. You hear that? So you have it all here. So tell us, what is your favorite animal? If you had to pick one, what would be your favorite? Uh, that'd be the giraffe. The uh, giraffe. The and why the giraffe? Why is the giraffe? Uh, the if you've never had a giraffe feed out of your hand, uh, it's just there's no feeling like it to have his uh, just bend over and stick his big 16-inch <laughs> tongue out at you. 16-inch and... tongue. Yeah. That's pretty big. I understand yeah. giraffe can actually take the tongue out and clean his own ear. Yeah. That's pretty amazing, pretty amazing. How big are those giraffes? I guess you have two? We have two. And uh, how, how tall? One's a little older, one's uh, probably 17 feet or so, and the other one's probably about 13 feet. Wow. Any reason why they are shaped that way, the long neck? 
Uh, just uh, over time uh, to help them up reach the uh, the trees and the leaves better. And that's their favorite. That is favorite amazing. Dinner. That's their favorite dinner. So they'll just hang out and just eat off the top of the trees. Yeah. That's great. And I understand you have a rhino. I've never yes. had a chance to, uh, to touch a rhino. We're going to have the opportunity of touching a rhino. Uh, only for you. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, only for you. If we so get a to chance, come up, yeah, oh, I'll let you, wow, I'll let you this is going to be interesting. We're going to have a lot of fun. So, hey, boys and girls of the Magic Mark Show, get ready for a wild safari adventure. Now, what was that sound? Uh, in the wintertime, we ride through. We don't have as many customers, and we just load up a truck full of cubes, and we ride out here, and we usually give a, a few yells, and they usually start running. Whoop! Whoop! Come on! Come on! Up the hill there, we've got uh, a couple of big birds on the left, uh, right up there. we got an emu. Uh, I don't see the ostrich. They're usually Oh, I see him. Oh, by the fence. Yeah. yeah. Coming down. What, what, are, what are we giving these animals? What is this? These are called range cubes. Uh, they're just a bunch of different grains uh, squished together with a little bit of molasses in there for flavor. I mean... Oh, look! <laughs> Come on! Over on oh, the left there, these are called fallow deer. Fallow deer are from the Mediterranean. Oh, beautiful colors. Oh, look! These are the males. They're about full grown. That's about as big as they get. Look! Oh, look how cute! Hey, baby! No, there's a baby one for you. Yes, and one for you! Wow, this is cute! Like you do the horses. Uh, he's probably the oldest. You can tell by how fast their antlers are growing. Okay. Uh, they shed usually once a year. Uh, most of these guys shed about a month, month and a half ago. We get on around, we'll see, uh, we've got, uh, the little babies. They only stand about a foot and a half tall. Got two of the large birds there. We got the ostrich, which is the closest one to us, and then the emu. The ostriches are from Africa. Okay. Of course, known as the fastest uh, that, land bird. That's the fastest land bird, yeah. yes. They're big. They're One big. way to tell hey. them apart is ostriches only have two toes on each foot, and the emu has three toes on each foot. They're usually really curious birds. Uh, anytime we have to get out here and do any work, you don't have to wait long before the emus and the ostriches find you. You are too cute. How fast are these guys? The ostrich, I think, is 30 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour, pretty fast, huh? Uh, the giraffes we put up, yeah. they stay in this pen and in the barn during the winter time. They don't do well in the cold. Okay. Anytime it gets down below 50, we have to lock them up in the barn. Okay. But they're out roaming around. We just have to keep our eyes out for them. What's this? On the right here, it's called a nil guy. Looks like a... Uh, uh, it's an African antelope. Oh, oh food. Just, we have food here. Hi. Oh, wait a minute. Baby now, usually is wherever this? this is Nellie Bell, wherever Nellie is, you can usually find a giraffe not too far. That's a baby. You're nice. That's a nice baby. Got the elk here. Let's see if we can. Hey, there's a Eeyore. <laughs> Over in the trees, we got all the elk. Oh, I see him. We can get him up or not. Magic Mark's natural on that call. Whoa! Those things are Even North American elk. North American elk. Now these guys are these full grown, they're pretty big. Yeah, that's uh that's Bullwinkle. Now there's Bullwinkle down here. He's the, he's the big boy. Hey, how are you? Yes. Whoop! Yeah, I like that call, it works. Yes. Oh look, look at the baby. <laughs> yeah, big boy. <laughs> you made Barry back up. You want to give me some sugar? Okay. <laughs> hey, there's a zebra. There's a zebra. Oh, that's a pretty baby. That's good. <laughs> All right. Whoop! <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> And we do have zebras and we do have donkeys, and they've kind of crossed up. Oh, so these these other two guys are called Z donks. Nice. On the Magic Mark show, we talk about respect. So they don't they don't get. You be nice. Everyone has to be able to get along. Whoop! 
<laughs> come here. <laughs> Bo Winkle, back up. Who is this? Oh, look at you. Come here. I think you got Spike. Oh, no, he's a zebra. Come here. A zebra. Oh, my gosh. I'm feeding a zebra. Oh, yeah. How do zebras get their stripes? Better question is, are they white with black stripes or black with white stripes? I said they're white with black stripes. Apparently, it's just like a fingerprint. They're yes. all different. Yes, every stripe pattern is different. Every stripe pattern is different. Oh. And there's these dogs. They're mixed. Okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Be good. Be good. These little ones on the right up here are called black buck antelope. Okay. These are all. Oh, they can move. These are all females right here, and then the little baby. The males, the males, as they get older, instead of the tan on top, they turn black on top, where they get the name black buck from. When they get excited, they, they bounce. Yeah, look at that. Like that little Whee! baby there. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is pretty exciting. And look at this, we're about to come to the, I love cats, the well, big boys. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm going to feed the uh, the ligers here in the, uh, yeah. Do not get out of your vehicle. <laughs> hmm. Hey, hey, look, Chris. <laughs> hey, big boy. Up. Up. I didn't know. You just won't be loved, dog. Come on. Oh, Come on, boom, boom. look at that baby. Come on, boom, boom. Yeah, sweetie. You gonna stand up for him, show him how tall you are? No, oh, you big boy. Pay now, what do they mean? What's the name? Uh, this is Boom Boom. That's Mowgli. Mowgli! Oh, uh, yeah, these are the ligers. These are half lion, half tiger. That's mom and dad right there. You can see okay. they get significantly bigger than mom and dad. Oh, this is mom and dad right here. Yeah. Oh. That's, that's Barney the lion and Troopet the tiger. Barney the lion. And what's the mom? Troopet. Oh, how cute! We're in Troop County, so original name, Troopet. Ah, don't you start spraying. He stands a little over 10 feet tall up on his hind legs. And uh, we're guessing him to weigh somewhere about 800 pounds. Oh, you're a baby. Uh, the biggest thing with these guys is keeping them fed. How, uh, how much do they eat? One pound meat for every 10 pound body weight. Oh, wow. So these guys, we guess, probably weigh about 250. 260, so they get about 25 pounds of meat a day. Wow. Uh, the big boys down there, we're guessing 750, 800 pounds, they'd get 75 wow, look pounds how of meat. Cute. That's the mighty one right there. Two camels coming up. We got a Bactrian camel. That's the two-humped camel, and then we have a dromedary camel. That's the one-humped camel. Now, is it true that camels? I guess talk about the humps. Why? Why do they have those humps? Uh, that is a giant fat storage which they use That's for. Uh, they can pull water from it and use it as energy. So, I mean, it's true they can go a period of time without drinking yes. water. Or... Well, let me get out and say hi. Yeah. Just... Be careful. Yeah, be careful, Danny. That's a baby. That's you, CJ, the dromedary camel. You are beautiful. Oh, I know a good dentist you can go to. <laughs> How long can they store water? Uh, good question. Uh, I can't remember how many days they can go without drinking. I know that they can drink when they're thirsty enough. They can drink uh, uh, up to 50 gallons a minute. 50 gallons a minute. That's a baby. A lot of times you can just put the hose in their mouth and, and they'll just, just drink the, the, it and not lose a drop. Wow. 